What's up, everybody? How's it going? Um, I'm going to read a, a new poem that was recently published in the newest Hayden's Fair Review. Um, it's also going to be in my full-length book whenever that comes out, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, but this piece is uh, it's called When Your Friend is Killed While Talking on the Phone. Um, and the book that I'm working on, Heaven Face, if you've been following my work at all, deals a lot with grief and loss, particularly over... Um, one of my close friends who, who passed when I was younger, who, who was killed. And so this, this piece is a section in a longer, in a longer piece that kind of, that centers on that. A lot of the book centers around um, kind of this, this biomythography and also kind of uh, reclaiming that pain and, and sifting through that loss. But this is a, this is a short piece that comes up in that larger section, which the, which the book hinges on. Um, and, uh, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching and for listening. And, uh, if you feel so inclined, you can go down to the description box. You can follow me on Facebook. You can uh, help support, donate some uh, some funds to the uh, the Patreon page uh, if you if you so choose. Um, but for now, I'll, I'll read this read this short poem, and I hope it uh, it connects with you. When your friend is killed while talking on the phone, the phone falls from his hand, though remains on. The moment of his death lives now in his cousin's right ear and in the wires between them. All the sneakers strung over the lines from Palo Alto to Watts fell to the ground. A murder of crows perched along the line, felt his voice unhinge from his throat and rifle through the sky, but they did not hear it. This language of grief is not a spoken language. The only song that can be written in its tongue is no song at all, is mourning, is traffic before it is traffic, when 300 million cars sleep in garages across America, each dark is a mind which does not think or thinks only 300 million unspeakable thoughts, as dawn opens like a red fist, each finger unlatching to drop the knife. A stray bolt of lightning widening the skin of the earth forever. A wound spilling light which does not close.